Hey Maniacs, it is Kenya and welcome to another video from Japan. Today I wanted to make this video to share with you guys things that I have bought in Japan. Today is my last day here, tomorrow I'm flying to Hong Kong and I actually want to unwrap most of the things that I bought so I can just like package it and like get ready for my flight tomorrow. So I wanted to make this video before that. So yeah, hope you guys will enjoy watching this Japanese haul and if you guys are ready, let's get this video started. Alright, so the first thing I want to start off with is something that I didn't really like purchase, but I spent a lot of money on, and it is this Squirtle <laughs> little like stuffed turtle stuffed animal those of you who don't know squirtle is a pokemon i was actually eyeing this one in all the gaming centers we've been to and one day in kyoto me and elena were just like let's fucking play <laughs> we actually won this little amazing stuffed animal i just love squirtle in general and i love turtles and i love marine animals and i love pokemons like childhood like and i always wanted someone to win things for me at those things when you're just like Shh, sh. so needless to say i'm very happy with this thing i'm just really not sure how i'm gonna pack this i think i still have room in my suitcase for this but i mean whatevs it's gonna be okay the second thing i want to show you guys is this biodegradable handle toothbrush that i bought at Tsutaya. It's eco-friendly bamboo something something something. However, the brush itself is made out of nylon So it's not totally zero waste, but it's like better than nothing and those of you who don't know Tsutaya is like the most Amazing store ever in Japan plants and and things and I saw this and I was like, oh, yes I, I need something from Tsutaya. So I got this I got one for Alina as well And I should probably have got one for my host, but I didn't I bought her a plant instead The next thing I bought in Japan is a pair of glasses and I have been wanting to get my glasses done for a while now because I felt like my uh, eyesight is getting a bit worse, but in Japan they actually did the glasses and an eye test in the same day The whole process of like picking what glasses I want and everything took like less than an hour And they gave me like the most like thorough test eye exam uh, Way better than the one I got in Israel and surprisingly my eyesight hasn't gone worse So I'm really happy about that. I think the reason why I was seeing not as good is because my glasses were just like a bit you know i'm not so good at keeping my things like well <laughs> so i'm very happy i got these pair of glasses i'm gonna show you guys i got them in zof in harajuku it is a like a japanese brand of whatever and these are the glasses they cost me ichiman they're like I love them so much. I love the round shape. I feel like it makes me look way smarter and gives me like a John Lennon Harry Potter feel <laughs> And also I see like so good with them like oh, I love them They're so comfortable on my nose as well Like I can walk around and don't feel like I have glasses on whereas with my previous glasses I was just like, oh, I don't want to put them on. I felt like they make me look weird I don't know. So I am actually in love with these ones and as I said the total of this glasses cost me Ichiman which is like 10,000 yen but that is only because I paid extra for like super hard coating that's how they called it <laughs> but the frame and the test and the glasses and the lens and whatever were 7,000 yen so altogether it was 10,000 with the extras and I, I think like that's a really really good price um, it's like 200 300 shekels so like it's less than a hundred American dollars for a pair of glasses that are gonna last me for a long time. There's also a one year warranty thing that if something happens to them and it so happens to be I'm in Japan, then I can like get it fixed for free. I doubt I'll be in Japan in this next year, so it won't help me, but maybe it would help some of you guys if you're in Japan and you need a new pair of glasses. And they also gave me this like really nice, um, yum, yum, case. 
thank you. Very, very happy about this purchase. So the next things I'm gonna show you guys is stuff that I found in Daiso. Uh, most of these things I got in the Harajuku branch that's like three stories of just everything Hyakuen. So everything is like a hundred yen plus tax. It's like kind of like dollar stores in the US. So I am gonna admit I bought some needless things or things that I've convinced myself that I need, but I know I actually don't. So I actually have a whole bag of things here. <laughs> oh God, oh, so needless. Okay, <laughs> I bought two of these really, really cute autumnal um, like, uh, garland? God, I don't know what it's called. But I think I want to change my room in Israel to a bit more autumn, uh, style. Because I'm, you know, we don't really get seasons in Israel. We have, like, really hot summer or just winter. So I just kind of want to feel a little bit of autumn. Because last year I was in London and this year I'm probably just going to stay in Israel. So I got this. I got two of them and I'm, <laughs> I'm just obsessed, okay? The next silly useless purchase I've made is this costume it's like a statoscope ah Jesus I thought to myself hey I can use this in an ASMR video by the way if you guys like ASMR and you haven't checked out my channel please do there's a link in the description below so I'm probably gonna use this for like role play and stuff like that on my ASMR channel but otherwise yes definitely useless so the next thing I got is this Daisuke sticker <laughs> this means in Japanese like I really really like so I want to put this like in my room somewhere it's kind of like a self-love kind of affirmation thing and just as like a memory from Japan like a little you know house decor I don't know I just thought it was cute so I got it it was just like a hundred yen so I also found some Japanese plant seeds uh, I'm gonna give this to my mom and dad so that they can grow some Japanese plants and stuff hopefully I'm not gonna get stopped in the airport because that would be unpleasant. I also got some petals. Honestly, why did I do that? I don't know. I just wanted to have petals in case I will ever make like a really nice bath and I need petals in it, so that's why I got it. Oh shit, now I just realized I bought another toothbrush. I got this like toothbrush um, just because I wanted this plastic thing so I could put my toothbrush in it because currently I don't have like a case for my toothbrush. Um, so yeah, I have two new toothbrushes. That actually works well with my getting my teeth fixed situation. So yes. The next thing I got is another travel essential for me. It's like a case for your earplugs and it also comes with a set of earplugs. Those of you who don't know, I cannot sleep without earplugs. So this is like an absolute must for me. And I always lose my earplugs. I always, one falls out and then blah, 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 blah. I can't find them. So this is like a perfect solution for me. The next thing I got is a Japanese comb and it's made out of peach wood. So it's kind of like zero waste if you ignore the very wasteful packaging. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, the next thing I got is an eye mask. I actually got two of these um, because I tried one of them and it was like by far, hold up, <laughs> and it was by far the best eye mask I have ever used. It's kind of like a bra, I know, <laughs> but you can actually open your eyes inside of them and you know, it doesn't press on your eyelids, but it also has this like little, I don't know, it keeps the light out. It's magic. I have been sleeping only with this in the last uh, couple of weeks and I bought another one just in case something happens to this one. I also got another set of eye mask and earplugs just because I thought, hey, this is a Japanese eye mask and the first one was so good, I should try this one as well. And it comes with a set of earplugs and like, this thing actually fits your ears like it just sits there i don't know i don't know it sounds like really really good so i'm gonna try these and let you guys know the next thing i got is this fujisan fuji mountain um little posted things i don't know i thought this was cute i'm gonna give this to my mom i also got a little um like polaroid um thing album photo album for photos not that i have a polaroid camera or many polaroids but just in case you know sometimes you do buy things just in case this is one of them and as per clothes i literally just got socks because i forgot to bring my socks from israel so i got a pair of like super cute i don't know bunny cat bear not really sure um i got one in blue to give to my mom and i got one in pink 
for myself, which I can't find right now, so just trust me, I did it. And I got this pair of socks as well. It's like a Japanese style. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where you put your thumb, thumb? It's not a thumb, it's a toe. You put your toe, toe, you put your toe in there and the rest of your finger in there and there's like a Japanese drawing thing on it. So I got these. These are not the most comfortable socks I ever got in my life, but hey, it's, uh, it's, it's something. And the reason I didn't buy clothes is because I couldn't find any. A lot of the fashion in Japan is just very kawaii style and just doesn't really fit me personally I feel so I didn't get any clothes even though I brought like just literally five pieces of clothing and I wanted to buy things here to wear here but it didn't really happen in the end so hopefully in Hong Kong I will get a chance to buy a few things and I'll share that with you as well so that is it for all the purchases I have made in Japan trust me I spent so much more money but I have no idea where it went like honestly Ichiman here Ichiman there like money disappeared I'm like poor I don't know how happen but you know <laughs> that's what happens when you're traveling so anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video if you did make sure you press that thumbs up button comment on it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here check out my ebooks my patreon and my t-shirt shop follow me on snapchat and on instagram and I'll see you in the next video love you guys Mwah! bye